Hi, welcome to this video in which we will share some exciting information and look at how graphene is poised to make an impact on the wind energy industry. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire people towards engineering and technology for a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe to the channel to get our latest updates. In this video, we are going to discuss three ways in which graphene is going to boost the potential of wind turbines. The first is through its strength. The second is through the de-icing property and the last is its use as a lubricant. So without further ado, let's begin. Graphene has helped us to make some fantastic products, particularly in the last five years. We have already discussed in a separate video a bike frame, fish rod and tennis rackets that incorporate graphene for increasing the strength while being lightweight. For the same reason, they are now being considered for enhancing the next generation of wind turbine blades. We have seen wind turbines becoming bigger and bigger over time. Turbines with 3.5 gigawatt power are becoming the new workhorses of the wind industry. It is now fairly common to see blade sizes of over 65 meters and above. Ideally, we need to have a low weight of the blades because high weight impacts adversely on the hub and the connected bearing as it creates a cyclic loading which results in fatigue. Furthermore, the higher the weight of the blades, the more the installation and commissioning cost. Graphene-based composites have excellent stiffness to weight ratio. Graphene on its own is the most strongest material known to us. We already use composite structures for turbine blades, but using graphene sublayer would make the structure even more stronger and lighter. The second application is graphene's use as a de-icer. We know that during winter time, ice can form on the blades. This formation of ice leads to a drop in lift which diminishes the turn force of the blade. The downtime can be extremely costly. Graphene based nanotubes offer a chance to de-ice the blade with a flick of a switch, thus eliminating the need to physically spray the de-icing chemicals on the blade. A German firm has developed a coating using carbon nanotubes that heat up when current is passed through them. Thus the blades are de-iced with a simple flick of a switch and can potentially save thousands of dollars by keeping the turbines up and running. The last application of graphene is its use as a lubricant. The rotating parts of the wind turbine experience high static and dynamic loads coming from the turbine blades and wind alteration. The unsteady operating condition and the presence of debris cause scuffing and fatigue cracking. Furthermore, the wear and tear in the interacting surfaces of the gearbox and bearing is accelerated. In light of this, graphene-based lubricants with extremely low friction coefficients have been developed to reduce the energy losses in rotating parts of the wind turbine. They maximize system efficiency and also act as a protective line of defense against wear and tear. Graphene coating can be applied between two meshing surfaces or cover existing ball bearings to improve their life. So there it is, we've covered in this short video three ways in which graphene is helping boost the wind energy industry. If you learned something from the video, please do hit the like button. Don't forget to comment for any questions you might have regarding this technology. For more such videos, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention.